Hello, and welcome, and welcome back, bienvenidos, to Spanish 3. I'm Scott Rowe, Senor Rowe, and we are starting the year by reviewing what we learned last semester, as far as grammar goes. Much of how the students will be learning this year is called project-based learning. And I will give you an example. So what we're doing right now, as far as project-based learning goes, is learning about the environment. And I'm giving them what we call in, in applied linguistics authentic materials. So those are materials that were made, created, usually by native speakers for native speakers. So sometimes I'll, in Spanish 3, I will edit those a little bit. And we, right now, we're learning about uh, Chile's approach to plastic bags and the problems that they've been having with pollution in the ocean because of so many plastic bags. So from these different articles that we will be reading about the environment, I'll extract vocabulary and that vocabulary will allow them to be able to talk about the environment. So I will send them instructions after we do this, I'll send them instructions of a project that they will all do that has to do with the environment. So in Spanish one and Spanish two, I lay the foundation as far as grammar and vocabulary go. And now we're gonna review that and also do this project-based learning. And by doing that, I'm hoping that this will seem more relevant to the students, more interesting and get them to speak more. Uh, so right now I'm using the textbook, as I said, as a review for homework. And as far as homework goes, as far as grammar homework goes, I tend to keep that, I'm gonna to tend to keep that short. So I will post everything in Schoology. Right now, there's a folder, a pink folder that says connected learning. When we get back to on-campus learning, there will be another pink folder that says on-campus learning. They click on that folder, and then what opens is a list of dates. So each time we're in class, there's a different folder or page, if you will. They open up that page and they'll have an assignments, they'll have their assignments of what they need to be doing for that particular night. And if I do assign something that's online with their online textbook, all they have to do is click on a link and it will take them right to it. The te online textbook allows them to do listening activities, speaking activities, so it's very useful. I won't be giving a lot of grammar homework to do. In parentheses, the students will see required, but then they'll also see other assignments that in parentheses, it says more practice. So if they need more practice for something, let's say for the past tense, they can have that. And if they don't need it, they can skip it. It also gives them an opportunity to say, to email me and say, hey, Singer Rowe, I don't quite understand this, or I keep getting this wrong. The test book says that this is wrong. Can you help me understand why? And that way I can help them on an individual basis, as needed basis, to understand and to polish up their Spanish a little bit. Um, so there's, there's the honor Spanish and there's regular tract Spanish. The difference is that the honor Spanish, the quizzes and tests will be more difficult. There'll be more readings to do. The projects will be longer um, as well. And that's the basic difference there. Homework is worth 20%. And that's for completion. That's like if they put a sincere effort trying to do their homework. Classroom participation, 20%. If they're really trying to speak Spanish in class and paying attention, not on their cell phone, not that any teenager would ever do that. Writing is 
And again, writing tends to be more of an activity for uh, polishing up their grammar. Quizzes and tests, quizzes are worth 20%, tests are worth 30%. Uh, and there tends to, and I'll include these projects, I'll count those as a test. And quizzes will be vocab. Um, they will be presenting in Spanish 3. Uh, and that, so, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's one of the things I want to get across to my students. Your Spanish doesn't have to be perfect. Get it out there. Because once I hear it, then I can help you. If I can't, if you're not saying anything, then I don't know how it is that you are processing the language. I think that's it. Um, oh, on campus learning, I'm available seventh and eighth hours. And if that doesn't work for your child, we'll figure something out that does work. Uh, I think that's it. Again, welcome. And if you're new to Seabury, welcome to Seabury Academy. Glad you're here. And I hope that everybody is well, happy, and safe. Adios.